Hi everyone, it's Andrea and I'm back with a colouring chat, Intentful Enchantment. Somebody asked me to, to do a colouring chat in this and I will. Uh, if you want me to do a colouring chat in a particular book, you've just got to let me know and I'll add it to my list. I have got uh, a few more that people want me to do and I'll put them in the list and we'll do them in order. So we're going to do one in this one and I've actually got a page picked out that I thought was really sweet and I wanted to do it. I've just got to get to it. I've got a sort of piece of plastic bookmark in it somewhere. And now I can't find it, which is just typical, really. Here we are. And is this puppy? Because he's so cute. I think he's adorable. So we're going to colour in that. So first of all, if you are new to the channel, thank you for joining me. I hope you enjoy um, watching me colouring this uh, beautiful little puppy. And uh, if you like what you see, please uh, subscribe, because I will appreciate this. And uh, if you are a returning person to the channel, thank you for coming back. I really appreciate it. So, um, obviously, I've done my completed colouring, my complete colouring book collection, along with my finished pages. Uh, I hope you all enjoyed that eight-part series. I will be doing my supplies at some point in... September I'm just not sure when yet um, for various reasons and I'm going to go into why I haven't been posting as much as I normally do in a minute so yes so uh, there we go so yes I will be doing that fairly shortly because uh, I love my supplies as much as I love my books as you know so I've got to be honest I have not been very well lately um, I have got fairly high blood pressure at the moment and it's making me very tired. I get a very, excuse the door, that's Paul just coming up, going into the other room. Um, very high, so I'm, I'm getting out of breath a lot and they've put me on medication and uh, it's starting to, to ease off. I do have to see the doctors uh, soon or I've got to talk to the doctor first. But it's been very hard for me to actually do anything. I've been in bed by nine o'clock most days just reading or watching a bit of TV, YouTube videos and such, and I'm just, just been too exhausted to do too much. Um, I am starting to feel a little bit better, so I am happy to get going, and I'm glad to be back. Um, today, I nearly probably w could have got away with not videoing, but I wanted to. Um, it's the very last day in August today, so I'm, I'm filming this, and then my completed pages at the My Supplies and Books haul and all that good stuff but today I got a phone call from the nursery saying that Jennifer wasn't well she hadn't been herself all day and she had a temperature of 39.5 so of course I had to rush off and get her this was at 11 o'clock so of course I had to say to my boss um Jennifer's not well I've got to go and get her I won't be in the rest of the morning because she gets very clingy when she's ill and she really wasn't herself so I brought her home gave her some cowpaw and she snuggled up to me and she likes watching YouTube videos, uh, kids stuff really, like um, Dion's Playtime, T-Rex Ranch, a Thumbs Up Family, uh, Vlad and Nikki and, and so on. And um, when the ads come on, she gets a bit antsy, she doesn't like ads. <laughs> she goes, Adsters, Mummy, Mummy Adsters, because she can't yet work the remote to skip them. She can use the one for the bedroom TV, but not the living room one. So, um... And normally I do it for her. Today she was, was not bothered at all, so I knew she wasn't right. So so she was saying she didn't want to go to bed, but as soon as I put her to bed this evening, she turned over and went to sleep. So I'm not going to sleep very much tonight, am I? I'm going to be um, checking her uh, fairly regularly throughout the evening, um, just to make sure she's okay. She's all right. And we're not sure whether it's just a cold or cough or anything more sinister. Because she's got temperature, she's got a cough, she's got a runny nose, she says she aches. It could be just a cold, it could be, you know, it could be COVID, I don't know. We have ordered a test just to be on the safe side. I don't think it is, but got to be careful, got to protect everybody. So, as we're doing, I'm using polychromos on this, so. So I'm waiting on another a voucher from work. I got another bonus. This is because I got a compliment and won an award, which is really nice. So I'm going to get another £50 voucher. 
and I don't know what I'm going to spend it on yet. I might spend it on colouring stuff and supplies. I want the coin or tritones if they've got them in stock when I, uh, I get the voucher. They've been approved, just waiting for it to come through now. And um, yeah, I don't know, I might get something else. I'm not sure yet, but at the moment I'm trying not to spend much because my car's playing up. It doesn't want to start. I think it's the key. My dad thinks it's the key because if you put it in and push it in harder, it seems to work. So my mechanic's given me the name of an auto locksmith in Cumbran to ring when I've got a bit of money. He can get me another car if I want one, but I, I, I'm... Is my phone going off? I'm not going anywhere yet, so... I like this little puppy. I think he's really sweet. So I'm not worrying about any lines showing because it'll just look like fur, so... So what have I been doing lately? So yes, I didn't do a, a weekly vlog this week because I did start doing one, but nothing really happened until, well, Sunday really, and Monday. Um, Sunday, we went up the pub and they, they had a barbecue and we went up the pub and my dad came down, it was really nice. Uh, Monday, we went to the park, Did we did some shopping, we went to the park and that was it really. Um, but yeah, it was very quiet throughout the week. I have started one for this week, but with Jennifer being ill, I don't know how much of it's actually going to happen, so we'll see. We'll try, I'll try and do a bit. It just won't be very exciting if she's off all full week. She will be off for the next couple of days, so I do have to be, you know, she comes first. She's my baby. Adorable thing. She's very sweet. No, even when she's ill, she, I mean, she hasn't had a tantrum today because she's ill. <laughs> She doesn't feel up to tantrum in. She, she just she didn't want to go to bed. She was like, no, I don't want to go to bed. She just lay on the sofa looking sad, sorry for herself. But she wasn't, you know, wouldn't didn't have a tantrum like sometimes she does if you tell her no. She was just like, oh. so she's definitely not herself. But I'll see how she is. Like I said, when I finish this one, I will video. I will go and check. Or if the battery needs changing, which it might do, I will go and check on it and make sure she's okay before I come back and, and start uh, carrying on with the videos. But yeah, I'm not going to sleep very well tonight. I'm going to be worrying about her all night. But that's that's life. I'll leave my door open here so I can hear her if she needs me. Because uh, I love my girl, obviously. But, uh, oh, I want her to be well. She's supposed to be going to school soon. <laughs> Next week we're supposed to be taking her to school. We won't be able to do that if she's got COVID. I don't think she has. I think it's just cold. But let's see how she goes over the next few days. Poor little thing. that I mean me feeling ill has not been good Paul did his back the other day we were, we were like falling apart over here I tell you it's not good we'll live but we're falling apart but uh, yeah so yeah my car's playing up a bit and I love my car it's oh it's, it's just the key and we'll have to have a look at it I mean like I said I'll get the locksmith out and have a look at it and hopefully It'll be all right, so. Yeah, I like the polys in this paper, on this paper, it's really nice. So I do have some plans for September, a colour in. I don't know to, whether or not to make a separate video about it. I could, I suppose. Um, that's the battery, dead already after 10 minutes. So I'm going to go and check Jen and then change the battery and I'll be back. Okay, that was quick, back now. Checked on Jen, she is fine, she's snuffling a bit. Her nose is blocked up, she's been sniffing away today, poor little thing. But yeah, she's fine. Like I said, I'll be checking on her periodically throughout the night, so... Yeah, I mean... If I fall asleep, I fall asleep, but if, if I wake up, I'll be checking on her. I actually woke up late this morning. Um, I dreamt that I overslept. 
um, and Paul woke me up and he was going, and it's 11 o'clock, which is weird because that's when Brighter Minds actually called me. Um, but when I woke up, the alarm went off and instead of putting it on snooze, I actually swiped it the other way and it went on to off. And I woke up and it was 20 to 7, I was like, oh bugger. Got up very quickly, had a cup of tea and some breakfast, got Jennifer up. She seemed alright at that point, she didn't want to go nursery, she was tired. But she wasn't coughing, she didn't have a temperature, she wasn't sniffling. She was just fine herself. She went in and she was fine. She said she was thirsty. So when we got there, I said to the girl, she said she's a bit thirsty. She said, should we go and get a drink then? Should we go to the trolley and get you a drink and some breakfast? And Jennifer was like, yeah, I'm really excited. So I don't know, it came on quite suddenly throughout the day. So who knows, but uh, she uh, sound asleep, bless her. You might hear a cough every now and again if you do. It's She's okay, but I'd, I'll check on her if she starts coughing badly, obviously. So... So I didn't do much this, this afternoon, because I, I had her sitting on me all afternoon. Um, I did doze off a few times. <laughs> The ads had come on and I'd wake up and go, oh, I'll sort it, don't worry, before she could say anything. But she wasn't really saying anything at all. She wasn't particularly bothered by the ads at all today, which is uh, tells me she's not right. Poor kid. So I wanted to take some Polaroids for her bedroom wall because I have a Polaroid camera. That's very expensive film. So I have bought some. It is on on order from a company called Analog Wonderland. So I don't mind getting stuff from them. I'd rather support an independent company than buy stuff from say Amazon, which I will use, obviously use Amazon a lot to get my uh, colouring books and things, most of them. But, you know, sometimes you don't always want to use the same company, you, you know, it's good to support small or independent businesses like Analog Wonderland, um, price is the same. So why would I, why not, eh, <laughs> you know. I'm going to go and use them instead. So I don't know when that's going to happen. Should come sometime this week, but could come any time because obviously I ordered it. I think Friday last week, Thursday or Friday. It takes up to seven days, so it should come towards the end of the week, I would say. Which is fine. I had a couple of rolls of Kodak Gold because it was cheap. It was on offer. It's on sale at the moment, so they've. Uh, Knocked a quid off of it, which ain't a lot of money because I can remember when you could get that sort of film for about three quid in, in the supermarkets. Of course, you can't get it now. Very, very hard to get any film anywhere these days. Certain places still sell it. Obviously, still camera shops, even if they are digi mostly digital, most of them will still sell film. And of course, um, places like well, Boots still sell it. I know Boots still sell it. Um, I 
think that's about the only place I could get it in Newport. One camera shop and, and boots. Obviously, Pound Brand used to sell the Ag one. Of course, they don't now because uh, Ag has stopped producing it. Well, it's been stopped produced anymore. So. Yeah. So I'm not going to do a huge amount today, I'm going to do about 40 minutes. I say that because I'm nearly on 20 and I have hardly done anything as you can see. But we will do this one, we'll do the whole thing. I just think it's such a pretty one with the little bells and, and the pear I would say that is. <laughs> and a pear with a door in it and a little puppy and he's absolutely gorgeous. So what have I been watching lately on YouTube? Well, obviously I've been watching the kids stuff, like Thumbs Up Family with Jen. But myself, I've been watching some Gabulosis lately. Obviously everybody's wrap up and hauls, um, which I do every month anyway, because I love those. Um, but I've also been watching some photography stuff. There's a guy called Ribsy. He's an American from New York, based in London. He does some good stuff. And then there's um, In An Instant, which is all about instant uh, photography, so Polaroid and Instax, mostly Polaroid, but um, yeah, it's really good, really good channel. Really like the channel, so. Yeah. I love anything photography related, so. Now Paul and I watched the Benedict Cumberbatch film the other day, The uh, Imitation Game, which is about um, Alan Turing and the Enigma Machine thing, Enigma Machine, that was really good, enjoyed that. It made me sad, it made me angry, and it made me relieved all at the same time. But there you go. Yeah, it was a lovely, lovely film. Um, brought out the Onion Fairy, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, I need to get one of these. I don't think I put this on my list. So I'm going to go to Hobbycraft next. If I ever go again, I will have a look at getting some more polychromos if I need them. don't even think I looked at these. Oh, there she goes. Ooh. Poor thing. Such a cute little puppy. I love dogs. I love all animals actually. I love cats. But dogs are my thing. I mean, I can take or leave a cat. I would never hurt one. And I love stroking them because they are so beautiful. But I really love dogs. Always have done. We've always had dogs, so that probably explains it. Um, I haven't now, obviously, but I um, I miss having a dog in my life. I'm not going to lie. So we've decided that Saturday night is going to be movie night. It used to be because we used to do quizzes and there's none on at the moment. Now everything's about normal. They've got a few on but nothing major. So unless something really good comes up we're going to do music on Fridays. Movies on Saturdays and then just chilling out on Sundays and whatever we feel like. So that's cool. I can live with that. Because Paul's more into music than movies, and I'm more into movies, so.
But there's plenty of uh, films on Netflix and that that we can watch. Now I've got Netflix. Got it free with my phone upgrade. So that's pretty cool. I always think that white should be with where black and white together because that's how they put them in both sets but not in the polys. <laughs> anyway. Yeah, Jennifer's supposed to start school, well nursery school, in school rather than private daycare next week. So it might not happen depending on what is wrong with her. Um, yeah, she's supposed to... Uh, go in next Tuesday and for a 10 minute meeting with the teacher with us and then on the Friday she's supposed to go in for an hour and then the following week it's in for an hour and a half for a couple of days and then a full two hours after that but of course she's got the dreaded C word we won't be able to that's a nice one as well, actually. Yeah, we'll use that one as well in a bit. <sighs> Poor Jen. Here's his tail up here. Can you see his tail? Yes, you can. I think I'm probably only going to get the puppy done today. We'll have to see. If that. It's taking me a while. But I'm enjoying it. I quite in. I like this puppy, I think he's gorgeous. It's not even nine o'clock when I'm filming this. Normally I'm filming this like at 10 or 11. Uh, today, no, it's actually only just gone 10 to nine. <laughs> well. Oh, this is a sweet pup. This is fancy. You could do the puppy in greens and purples if you wanted to, but... So yeah, sort of plans for September. I don't know if you want to see a video on that or not. Let me know in the comments. I never do planned video videos on what I plan on colouring because I don't know what I'm going to colour. So I wouldn't give you the exact pictures, but I might say, oh, I'm going to try and colour in two or three books that I've not coloured in before. I'm going to try and do one Hannah Lynn, one New Jade Summer, one Old Jade Summer, one April Amber, one Ava Brown, uh, one Buddy Colour or three Buddy Colours. I've got two lined up to be fair, it's just uh, getting, uh, getting the information about which ones people want. So. Want to do, so we know, I know what books I'm doing them in but I don't know what the pictures are so We'll have to have a look. This month's gone so fast though, it's been really, really odd trying to figure out what to do with people. I don't think I've done any this month. No, I've done one. I've done one. Which is cool. I think. Do you know what? I haven't got a clue anymore what I've done. I'm so not with it lately. Yeah. 
So I'll do something in a minute. So I got the TV on, but I don't, I'm, I don't want it going off, off, because I'll have to start the video from scratch. So I'll just, uh, I sort of watch them while I'm setting up. And then I, uh, so we're nearly on 30 minutes. Not that I'm counting, because I'm just enjoying colouring. It's taken me ages just to colour this little bit of puppy, hasn't it? But he is so cute. I want to get him nice. I think it was the puppy that ate that bit of pear there. <laughs> I can't believe Paul's gone to bed, it's not even nine o'clock. Normally I'm shattered by now, but I don't feel too bad tonight, I feel quite awake, which is good. Which means I can get on and do this. Right, let me just sharpen this one up. say I'm tired, I'm not tired. But you know when you just feel a bit ugh. Like you're worn out but you think why am I worn out? I shouldn't be worn out. I think for me I've just been so worried about Jen today that it's uh You know, that's all what all it is. I've been a bit worried about her, obviously, because she's not been right. And of course that makes me feel a bit out of it myself. take some photos and I've just not been able to because with the car being a bit dodgy I'm afraid to go anywhere though I do have breakdown cover so I shouldn't be because I can always call the breakdown service out that's what they're for and I've got the details of it on my phone so looks. You think he looks good? I think he looks quite good, don't you? A little bit more up here. Think about dog's fur, it's never all one shade. <laughs> I 
Actually, I never talk much because I've run out of things to say. It's not like I don't want to talk to you, I do. I'm just trying to think as I meant because I don't watch TV like a lot of people so they can talk about what they've watched. Like I said, I watched the imitation game and it made me angry and very sad. Sad and angry for Alan Turing, who was, I think was treated appallingly. He was a hero and he deserved far better than he got from the establishment during his lifetime. And it was only something like it was over 50 years before his contributions to the world of computing, the ending of the war, was recognised. And that's just so wrong. So, so wrong. He deserved better from the British government. He... Oh, he did. He deserved so much better. And it did make me angry for him. And for every other person who, whatever they were in their lifetime, was treated as badly as he was simply for being homosexual. And, you know, it's just awful. Um, but he was a hero. He was a genius. And he deserved so much better than he was given. So much. But that's all I'm going to say. He was a hero. So yeah, I mean, it was brilliantly acted film. Kira Knightley was very good as well as Joan. They were all very good, actually. It was a very good film. I'm glad I watched it. Um, so if you're wondering, the colours I've used on the dog are uh, Brown Ochre 182. It's a very light base. Then I've the earned Burnt Ochre 187. Burnt Sienna 283. So those are the three uh, colours I've, I've, I've used on the puppy so far. I'm going to use a bit of white in a minute as well, just to blend it in to this bit of white on his front and on the paws. This one at the back. And uh, yeah, that one goes there. One goes up there. There we go. And he looks really sweet. No little puppy. No. Oh. Is warm grey rather than white, actually. But there you go. <sighs> Excuse me, huffing. I'm not bored or anything. I'm really enjoying this. Actually, it's nice to to do something a bit different, and um, it's nice to be here with you all. Obviously, of course it is. I've missed you. I do miss chatting to you um, when I'm haven't been filming it's just I just have not felt well enough to do it. I have been literally been so tired I've been going to bed and maybe reading for half an hour and going to bed I've been having the light off by half nine ten ish every day and I've been waking up to go to the bathroom I've been looking at the clock like last night I went to bed so early woke up to go to the bathroom and it was like quarter to twelve I was like really is that all and then Jennifer woke up and was up most of the night. I should have had an idea that she wasn't well when she did that because that was probably the start of her starting to feel rough. She didn't want to go back to sleep. She wanted me to stay up with her. Oh, I missed a bit of his paw at the back there. I didn't see it. I thought it was something else. I'm going to say that's his paw there. Let's get this one out. It is. It's just the way he's sitting. You can actually see the, the claws on it. It's just because it's behind a flower as well. 
hard to see. There it is. See my work computer flashing on the floor in front of me because this is where I work this is my office desk as well when I'm at home and uh, yeah so I'm going to give him a blue ribbon around his neck I'm assuming it's him I don't know it might be her but I quite fancy oh this one was a nice colour I don't think I've used this is a uh, helio turquoise and the number is 155. So I'm just going to give it a sharpen. I love a good point on mine. And we're going to pair it with I think the one next to it, which is cobalt blue. A cobalt turquoise. I love that colour. That's one that's been used a bit. Not a lot, but a bit. Do a light layer of cobalt first. Like that. That's a beautiful colour, isn't it? <laughs> I'm going to do all the ribbons that colour as well. So we'll do that next. I'm just going to turn it off for a second because it's about to hit 30 and I don't want to lose where Okay, right, so yeah, we're going to do the uh, ribbons uh, next, so... Oh, this paper is just so beautiful to work on. Oh, in these Clara Markova books, it is just stunning paper to work on. I absolutely love it. It's just so, they just go down so creamy and smooth. And these are, these are a hard pencil, aren't they? Because they're oil based. But oh my God, they are beautiful. They go down stunning. Absolutely gorgeous. I think they are just oh, the most beautiful pencils. I mean, I it was for ages, I, I wasn't sure whether I liked them and then I started using them. And I really like them. I mean, I love my Prismas as well. I'm using them on a picture. And I've got it downstairs, the, the picture that I'm actually doing. It's in one of the Colour in Heaven books. And I absolutely love the way it's coming out. But this paper is beautiful. And these books are so worth the price. I will have to try and get another one soon. I've only got um, fairy miracles, I think, and fairy celebrations to go. And then I've got the five. And then hopefully, after that, she can bring out a new one. And I've got them all. Yeah, this paper's lovely. So. Mm 
There we are, looking good so far. I know I've got to do his nose, but I'll do that later. just sitting here colouring and having a nice little chat with you guys and hope you're all safe and well wherever you are and that things aren't too scary with Covid. I know some places it's really spiking again. I mean cases have gone up in the UK you know and it's going to but I know there are some places that are really overwhelmed with it again and I, if you're in one of those areas my heart goes out to you um, and all I can say is get the jab, wear a mask, be sensible be safe. Yeah. Yeah, I like this puppy. I think he's gorgeous. So we're going to stop soon so I can finish off doing my other videos, but um, not yet. I'm going to do all the, I'm going to do this last, I think that's the last one. And then we'll look at the time. But I know we're getting close to 40. I don't want to bore you. I want you to enjoy the video and not think, oh god, she's rattling on about bugger all again. And she's, you know, coloured hardly anything in. I, I, that's what I feel sometimes when you're doing a colouring chat, you got to colour really fast. But you don't. You know, somebody might learn something, I doubt it, but it's me. They might do. But although I hold in the pencil really close to the edge, I'm not heavy handed with it. I'm being quite light handed. I know people say if you want to be light handed do that but I just find I make a mess like that. So I'm... Um, that's why I hold it at the bottom. Because it's the best way for me to do it. Oh. One. Yeah, that looks nice. People out and about. Oh, it's nice people are out and about again after the last well, 18 months we've had really, let's be honest, it's been horrendous, but let's just hope things do even out a bit so life can go back to some kind of normality, even though the nurses at my doctor's don't think it's going to go back to any way near what it was, at least not for a long time. But we'll have to see. I'm not going to talk about it anymore because I'm going to leave that there for tonight. I think that's enough for one night. We've done the majority of the puppy. We've just got his nose and his bell to do. Um, so next time we'll probably do the bells. And we'll see how it goes then. I hope you've enjoyed this colouring chat. If you have, leave me a nice comment down below. Or a nasty one, is up to you. Give it a thumbs up or a thumbs down. Share it with your friends if you think they might be interested and if you're not a subscriber please subscribe, it really helps the channel out um, with views and subscribers and gets the channel more promoted uh, as I'm hoping to try and do more and more great stuff with you and show you great books and supplies as and when I can. So I'll see you in the next video very very soon. Bye my friends, take care.